territory of the best rhythm guitarist of rock, Malcolm Young, playing for the band ACDC. Malcolm Young is the elder brother of Angus Young, both born in Scotland. Following the big freeze of 62, the whole family emigrated to Australia. It was a big brother, George, who introduced them both to guitar. He's actually the guitarist of the Easy Beats band. Malcolm will work as machine maintenance worker in a bra factory and play guitars in his free time. My idols as a rock and roller Chuck Berry and the bluesman John Lee Hooker. Deciding in 73 with his brother to form the group Aka Daka. For the group to function well, Malcolm takes care of the rhythm guitar, supported by drums and bass staying in the background, leaving the foreground free for the singer and lead guitarist. Malcolm has a strong play style without hesitation. He's the one who makes the crowd tap the foot on the ground and will perform with his trademark and banging move. Supporter of the less is more, he will have his favorite guitar, a 63 Great Shed Firebird, from which he will remove the superfluous microphones as well as the paint. I will name it the Beast. I will give the badass sound of ACDC. His left hand is full of power cord, and he got a metronome in his right hand. The guitar will accompany him everywhere on most of the ACDC recordings. The first high voltage will do the backing vocals on the explosive TNT, will be on the cover of Highway to Hell, leaning against a wall on Back in Black, the devastating ball breaker, blow up your video, the sharpie razor fly on the wall, but always here to co write the lyrics and code of the album. His addiction drinking will sometimes put him aside, allowing his nephew, TV to take over. But it was a lead water pipe that poisoned him when he was young or will turn into a lethal dementia at the end of his life. Here is a little story of Malcolm Young and with a little perspective, here is his portrait. <laughs> 